Okay, so for this week's how do I prepare that, I am making broccolini. And so it kind of reminds me of a cross between asparagus and broccoli. It's got these long, tender stems. Um, you know, broccoli, it has that really thick stem. These are nice and tender. And then it has this little broccoli looking head. And so all I'm going to do, you can see the ends are kind of brown and dry. So I'm gonna cut about an inch off of the ends first, and then I'm going to put it in a steamer um, basket here. Now, some people have those baskets that expand like that. I'm just gonna use this one here. So let me cut those off and I'll be right back. Okay, you can see I just cut about an inch off of each one. And so I'm leaving them nice and long. You can cut them shorter if you want to. You can cut them into bite sized pieces. Some people roast them too, but I just like them in the steamer. So I'm gonna put them in my little steamer basket. I'm gonna turn some upside down so they lay nice and flat in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going over to a pot here where I'm cooking greens. And so you can steam over water, you can steam over anything you want, but you want to make sure that your steamer basket is above the water level. So you can see I have, I'm steaming some greens, it's not boiling, and I have probably four inches here, which is more room than I need. When I set my steamer basket in, it only takes about two inches. If it sits in the water, then it's gonna be boiling, not steaming. And I just want steamed. And so I'm just going to put the lid on top and now I'm cooking my greens at the same time that I'm cooking my broccolini. Now I started the greens first because they take a little bit longer. The broccolini is only gonna take about 10 minutes. So I want them to be nice and bright green. I'm not putting anything on them. If I put salt on them, before I cook them, it's gonna keep them from getting tender and I want them a little bit tender. Now I could have um, rice in here. You wanna make sure the level isn't too high. I could have beans. It doesn't matter what you're cooking in here, but know that any liquid is going to go down through those holes into here. And so it's gonna flavor, it's gonna, um, some of the minerals and things may leave the broccolini into here. That is perfectly fine, it's fine to eat just wanted to make sure that you know that. Okay, I ran and jumped in the shower, so it's probably been closer to 15 minutes. You can see they are a nice vibrant green. I don't know about the coloring <laughs> here, but here is our broccolini, nice and steamed. You can see it has some bubbles. It still has a little bit of a crunch, but like I said, it's more tender than regular broccoli. Those long stems are a lot like asparagus it's gonna be delicious okay so here's my broccolini and you can see this one is dark that, so that one's a little overcooked right there you want it when it's still the vibrant bright green so it retains its minerals and a lot of the nutrition this one a lot of the minerals are destroyed um, it's still gonna taste good but it's a little bit see it's wimpy a little more tender um, then this one here, let me see if I can eat one. So see, I just peeled it right off. Mmm, tender. Mmm, it's nice and sweet. It's delicious. Anyway, if you steam up some broccoli, now I could have just added it to a stir fry or something like that. I didn't have to stir fry. But this is my favorite way to eat it. The best way to retain the nutrients unless you overcook it. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. I hope you steam up some broccolini very, very, very high in minerals, high in vitamin C, unless you overcook it. Um, and it's a cruciferous vegetable, so it helps with detoxification. It has indol 3 carbonyl it has um, DIM, it has sulforaphane, all these wonderful cancer-fighting nutrients, nutrients that help your body to detoxify, especially things like extra estrogens and things like that. So, Eat this when you can. I hope that you enjoy it. Comment, let me know what you think about this recipe and your broccolini and subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. Enjoy.